So today we're looking at a classic Calorama co-op building. It's called the Mendota. As you may be able to tell from that pan, the ceilings here are all quite high. It's like a apartment with 9 and 10 foot ceilings. And uh, a lot of units here have windows on at least two sides because the building is kind of U-shaped. So most apartments, no matter where they are, have uh, multiple exposures. They also all have these fireplaces with a lot of original mantelpieces and the little uh, fleur-de-lis wrought iron relief and the original ceramics, sometimes in odd colors. This apartment's been staged, you can tell, because it has a fake TV that's from this company that sells prop furniture called Props. Anyway, fairly generous living room with high ceilings, some built-in shelves, this capped off glass fireplace, an entry to the hallway, windows that face north, windows that face east, and then uh, a pocket door into the dining room. The dining room goes into the hallway and into the kitchen. The dining room has this built-in cabinetry. And it also has windows that face east. Out onto a fairly quiet Calorama Street. This is 20th Street, and that's Calorama. You can see the window sills are fairly deep, sort of original unpainted woodwork. There's a crepe myrtle, I guess. There's a lot of a lot of landscaping. This unit's for sale. It's for somewhere just under, I think, three quarters of a million. It has this now retro kitchen. I actually really like it. This is a washing machine. Um, for some reason, someone's left the kitchen window open even though they have the air conditioning on. This is the truly old electrical circuitry because this building does not have central air. A really old gas stove. I believe Martin Nagronsky, the refrigerator's out here in the pantry. I believe Martin Nagronsky of Agronsky and Company owned a unit here that I saw when it had become sort of an estate sale. I'm not sure if he passed away or if he just retired. This is a large walk-in closet. It's not in any particular room. It's just at the end of the hallway. Here is a very original bathroom for DC. All kinds of little pantry cabinetry under our window. And we have a very original, not quite, but close to a clawfoot tub. Here is one of the bedrooms which has been emptied out. Radiator heat, really old hardwood floors, kind of well preserved. This bedroom has its own closet. <laughs> Hello, my name is Closeted. I don't know if that's an in joke, as it were. Don't really know what that's about. You can see the whole place has this really nice, restored, original hardwood flooring. There's our kitchen area again. Here's our dining room. Here's our living room. All these things were off of this central closet uh, hallway. I turned off the lights so it's now dark. 
And then here's another bedroom with a lot of built-in shelving at the opposite end of the unit. I just love this woodwork on the doors. And it has a quite shallow closet that really just has shelves. And on this side it's Calorama Road. All row houses, if they were houses, they'd be worth two million and up. Most of them have been broken up with a condo on each floor, and sometimes the condos are close to a million. Anyway, uh, this is the more expensive, because larger, of the two apartments currently for sale in this building. I'm the listing agent on the smaller one, which is a small one bedroom. Also belongs to a journalist. This building seems to have had a lot of journalists in its day. Chris Wallace actually lives down the street from here on the other side of Connecticut in a house house. And actually a Washington Post local reporter lives in the house next door to this unit. Anyway, let's go uh, make a little video of the one bedroom that's for sale.